<laughs> what do you say? anything to vlog all day so I was gonna take us out and do something but now look we decided to stay in clean guess what I found all these freaking box cutters <laughs> how many were there plus one over there plus two and there's 23 There's probably more inside our bathroom too, and our closet. And the sad thing is, like I was just telling him too, these aren't just the ones that he's had before. These are just the ones that he left here. I've actually made him take back a lot of them before. And what happens is he forgets to empty his pockets after work, brings them home. This is all, all his gas station box cutters yeah meanwhile we've been digging around for some because we couldn't find any at work i wonder why they're all at the foy mclaughlin house well they're not just one let's see you know what else you're starting to collect on what? not as greatly <laughs> is that it just four that i could find there's five, five. There's probably two inside the car that I've seen, and there's more at the Roberts household. Are you ashamed of yourself? Huh? Hmm? Wait, so there's another one over here? No, I brought that one over here. Pretty soon, I'll have enough supplies to open up an office store. I brought home a lot of pens too. Oh my back regular one for Dick. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, look, another marker. What else can we find in here? I want to find more box cutters. Oh my god. Probably will if you go to mom and dad's house. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna finish cleaning. Walking out of our apartment complex to go look around and pretty much um, tire the kids out. Try to, at least. Okay. It's really bad because they are supposed to be in bed right now. Look at this set. I don't know if you can see that or not. Little gray gray. Hopefully no one's there. And here it is. Alright, go ahead. Go play. Go get Bubba and Daddy. Go get Bubba and Daddy. Go on. <laughs> run, run, run. Ah, Spider-Man. 
Can you show everybody your nice face and your nice markings? Let me see your like art. Well, it goes you. Whoa, dude. Lots of color. Oh, okay. Well, keep your shoe on. Here, let's put your shoe back on. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome, Bubba. Shoe. Yes, yeah, so shoe. Keep it on. See, got his Mickey Mouse's on. Your shoe fell off again? Hey, get back here. Be careful. Here, come on, hold on. Here, hold on. Good job. He's just sitting here staring like, what do I do? <laughs> We're headed off to the pool area now. It's just a little bit across the way. What, Bubba? My phone died? Yeah, I was dying. So that's not surprising. One, two, oh, oh, good job. He's still getting used to the steps, he's so small. But we're going off to the pool area, and we're gonna be leaving very, very mad because these two have been in the pool twice and they love it. They're not gonna be able to go in this time. So there's bound to be some fits. We go in all nice and peaceful. <sighs> and then I think it's down this way, across the way. Hold on, Grace. Oh no, that's just another apartment. Okay, so it's down this way, and you go down and there's like two unisex bathrooms that you can use and then it's gated in. But here's the pool area similar to the courtyard area. Very nice, yeah? Whoa! He can put his feet in as long as he takes off his shoes. You too, Gray. Let's take off your shoe. And Daddy's gonna have to, well, <laughs> Daddy's gonna have to vlog then.
home. And Grayson goes on and turns the TV on. And then he's off to go to the computer. <sighs> I'm raising such lazy children. Excuse me. Well, the lights gotta go on now because, oh my gosh, dishes I need to do. By the way, if you're wondering. What? I am. You want me to do it right now? Mister, are you telling the truth? Are you ready for some uh, din din? Daddy, what do you think about fish sandwiches? Uh, sounds fun to me. Awesome. What do you think about fish sandwich? What do you think about fish sandwich? I lost the camera for a few hours, so there's not really much footage because it's almost time for the boys to go to bed. But I'm going to be staying up late for a little while. And I bet you know why. Yep, it's because my apartment's dirty again. Look at that. Sadly enough, it's not just inside of the living room. Nope, it's all around the freaking apartment. And it sucks because there's like storms uh, to the... <laughs> Forgot which air, which direction this is. Um, <clears throat> there are storms to the left of us, and I'm really hurting. My joints are really bad right now. Uh, so it's really gonna suck to go ahead and clean everything up, but hopefully it'll be done, you know, really fast. I want to get it done before tomorrow morning because I want Sky to be able to come home to a clean apartment and not have to worry about anything. Just go home and sleep, crash, and I'm gonna take care of the kids. I found a few Pinterest uh, activities that I'm gonna try and do with the kids tomorrow. Tomorrow is the 13th, which means that there's gonna be two more days until Father's Day. And I'm hoping to do some kind of, uh, you know, like some kind of really cool activity for the kids to do for Father's Day gift. Um, I know we had the whole, you know, we gave Skylar a Father's Day card. We tried baking him a cake, which ended up terrible. Like, look at this, guys. Look at this freaking cake. And that's not just from us digging into it. That's like, what it, I try, okay. I admit, I try a little bit too hard last minute with baking with Tumblr, and it ended up really bad. And I tried baking it and cutting it into a tie. And I didn't add enough grease to the pan. So it didn't work. And it came out terrible. Yeah, I suck. Maybe I'll try again next Father's Day. Who knows? But this is the card we got him. Have it hanging up next to the patriotism stuff. Hey, buddy! Yeah, we're gonna get you ready for uh, bed. Is this the shirt you wanna wear? Okay, well, we'll put you in that. I guess she's doing a little bit of a fashion design. What? No, we're not allowed to do candles anymore. I found out that in our lease it actually says no flame candles. They have to be flameless. So I have to get rid of those actually. And buy some flameless ones, which I understand. It's fine, it's safer, so I get it. You still need to get washed up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and sign off, and why? Oh my gosh, every way I go. Mess, 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 mess. Okay, well. Time to clean. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Guys, I want you to see the kind of things that I have to deal with when I'm brushing my child's teeth. This, I don't know if it's normal or not. He's had plenty of experience brushing his teeth before. And this is relatively new um, within his second year. Uh, I don't know what to do. I got toothpaste for children that he picked out himself. 
And I even got a cool toothbrush that lights up. Let him pick the color and everything. But still, this is the kind of stuff I have to deal with. Do you want to do it? Can you brush your teeth? That's Gregory's toothbrush. Do you want to brush your teeth with Gregory's toothbrush? It's Gregory's toothbrush. What about your toothbrush? No. And when I have to do it, it's not pretty. Really, kid. Oh, jeez. Never a dull moment is there when you have two kids. At least it wasn't the toilet paper. Thank God it wasn't the toilet paper. All right. Are we ready to brush your teeth? I'll take you to the pool if you brush your teeth. I don't know what to do about that. He's been like that ever since he went to the dentist the first time. And it's, well, not the first time. He's probably good for his first year. Then when he turned two, all of a sudden the dentist was like a no-go. I guess he has the dentist fear, phobia, whatever it is. But I didn't think that that would progress to being home and not wanting to brush your teeth. I don't know what to do. So if you have any tips for me, please, please share them. I really don't want him to follow in his mommy's history of bad teeth care. I'm pretty sure some of you have noticed. I don't have the greatest teeth. They're not nice. I don't take care of my teeth and I'll be honest about that. And yeah, it's disgusting. Yeah, I want to take care of them. And yeah, it started, but you know, sometimes it is too late. Sometimes your teeth are just damaged and unless you have an unlimited supply of money in your wallet, you can't fix it. And that's kind of where I'm at right now. Should have learned my lesson earlier. Oh well. I'm trying my best with these two not to let that happen to them. Do you want a kitty or a puppy? Puppy! You want a puppy? What do you want to name the puppy? You want a puppy named Puppy. Last night we had a video call with my mom and the, Misty was in the background after we hung up and it was bedtime. Nikki cried so hard. He missed Misty so much. But, you know, it's like a $500 bill if we want a pet here. And we just don't have that kind of money right now. But hopefully I'm planning on something for them for Christmas where maybe I can raise the money and maybe we can get Misty over here. But there's a lot of training that we have to go through here as well. This is one of the things. They like to run around with these little cars and for Misty, that's scary. So we have to figure out somehow, some way that we can be gentle. Honestly, I miss Misty too. I miss my cuddle buddy. So we gotta get something going there. All right guys, I just came across the most amazing thing. I must be zoomed in. That's the wrong button. I came across a very rare miracle that only happens maybe once every few months. must happen only around the amazing times when Mickey Mouse Clubhouse is on. <gasps> the 
totally mesmerized. I must be very quiet and very careful not to disturb them. He spotted me. Oh no! Oh. Ah! <laughs> it seems I have disturbed the peace. It yeah. happens. But now Sky and I have talked about it, and we're gonna go ahead and next year we're gonna go to the courthouse and make it official. We want to wait um, until our dating anniversary, which is in March. But we're not gonna do it on the day. We got together March 3rd. But since it's my best friend's birthday that day, we decided that we're gonna do it the first week of March, but we're not sure which day. So yeah, I'm gonna be planning my um, little courthouse marriage, have a small, probably bachelorette, bachelor party, wedding shower thing, and then we're going to get started on the ceremony, um, where we're, we're pretty much going to make the whole big shebang, and that's probably going to be two years from now. We haven't really discussed it. Um, well, hello, sleepy pants. Good morning. Well, good afternoon, anyways. What'd you do? Did you get into the markers like you weren't supposed to? Yeah. And guess what he just decided to start doing, too? Uh, first offense. Good thing I have Pinterest, because I know how to get that out now. Some rubbing alcohol, or some nail polish remover. Now I have to go wash that off and take away all the markers before they get even worse. I can see them, they want to do it.